Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today when Jim got home from work, he brings in this great big huge box and I says, what's that? Because I didn't order anything and he goes, he didn't order anything either. But it had my name on it and I will show you the box in just a second. Like, I don't know how I'm going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be hard because it's huge. It's it's so big. Let me Let me move the chair. Because, or, I don't know if I want to move the chair. I'll no, move the chair. No, leave the chair. I'll leave move the chair. The I'll just, I'll just. We can move the camera. Move the back. camera. Bye. He's gonna, oh my goodness! Now you got to turn it just a little. To turn, turn, so that you can see this. This is the, this is the box. Look at this. It's huge. It is, it is huge. I started to open it, and then I thought, you know, I maybe I should. Wait and open it with you people, only because I wanted you to see how beautiful. Whoops! How beautifully it's packed. Look at this. Oh my goodness gracious me! It's, look at this. It is. It's got foam. It's got tape, and it's got I don't know more more plastic wrap stuff. Am I showing? I don't mm -hmm. know what's happening over there because I can't see it, but it's it's beautifully wrapped. So I will undo it and then I will show you what it is and I'll tell you who it's from. Alrighty. So I'll be back in a second. See you in two seconds. All right. Beautiful job of wrapping this. It's like it's protected for. Who is this from again? Who is this from? I didn't say. I never told you. <laughs> no, you didn't. But did I will you? tell you. It's from, you know, it's from Dean, Dancing Critter Acres. And it was from a drawing that was done, oh, quite a while ago. I should flip it over. Probably. Oh, yeah. Probably. Because this is the side that uh, has show. all the openings. Okay, then we'll do that. Um... Okay. Nope. Up on the side by you. Right in this there is taped. This is taped real well. Yeah. He did a good job in oh packaging. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable job. Whoops. Green. 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 Here you go. Take some green. As I get down on the train, there to meet me is my mama and my papa. Why do I get that song in my head? <laughs> down the, the green. road I run, and there run comes Mary. It's backwards. Hair of gold and lips like, like cherries. It's good to touch. There we go. The green, green grass of home. There's where green came in. <laughs> There's a reason for that. Green. Green la la. This is, this is really put together. Oh my goodness, it's got something on the back. We'll see. It says to Mary Gray. That's me. That's me. That's me. Let's see. I can see my enemy. Let me see it. Oh, there's more tape up here, and that might help. I like the way the tape peels, to be honest. It feels kind of empty. I could read upside down, but I'm not going to read upside down. Do you know what it is? I do. And it's beautiful. If you saw the video of him making it. It was, oh my goodness! You're gonna, you're gonna be surprised. Everybody is gonna be surprised. Ooh, la, la. Look at, oh, your arm is wet. I hit my nose. You ready? are sweaty. I'm ready. Voila! And look at it, it says Nona Grace on it. Ooh, la, la. Oh, that's beautiful. I love the lettering beautiful. he chose. And this is a flag. He made this flag. 
Oh my goodness, Dean, this is beautiful. Look at that. Holy smoly. This is really good. I got to read what the back said, too. I didn't read it. Let me see. It's over there. To Mary Grace, I hope this flag brings you much joy as it brought me making it for you. Many thanks, Dean. It will bring me great joy. I'm going to put this on the porch so it's protected from the weather. <gasps> this is gorgeous. Oh, it's my very goodness. Pretty. Very nice. It's gorgeous. It's Look at that. And he had to burn. He had to cut every star out. Look at that. The peak points on those stars. I couldn't even sew a star that good. And that's darn, darn good. Those are perfect. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Oh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Well, thank you so much, Dean. Now, this was... Let me sit back down so I can talk to the people inside. Put that against the thing there. Ooh. That that's is funny. gorgeous. Now it hides my... my Just for, for right now. Ooh, look at that. That's gorgeous. Just for now, okay. It is beautiful. I will get to see it in the camera. Not too close. I don't want to be in the... i got to flip it so I can see. Oh, there I, I am. Hello, sure everybody. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> this is so warm in here. Oh, la, la. <laughs> okay. Now, the flag that you're seeing there that is absolutely beautiful that my battery is dying. I see it flashing mm. at me. Oh, no. But anyways, the, the... You'll make it. I'll make it, we hope. The flag was made by Dancing Critter Acres Dean. He actually has a video. I should... I will put the link to that video of him making this. At least one of one like this. I don't know. He was working on, a, on the large one. This is the largest size. He asked me which size I wanted. I said whatever side he felt like... Size he felt like sending me was perfect. Then he wanted to know what lettering I wanted. Any lettering is fine. I'm happy. I'm easy. I'm easy to please. I, anything is beautiful. And this is really beautiful. Well, anyways, Dean made this. He's from Dancing Critter Acres. And he was one of 11 channels that you were could win a prize from. And the prize was on Tina's channel, which was I wrote hers down because I'm striving for the simple life, Tina. It was for her 1,000 sub giveaway, and she called out 11 different people because 11 different channels donated, and Dean was one of the channels that donated. And I was one of the winners of the flag, which is fabulous. Thank you so much, Dean. I cannot believe how pretty it is. It's mm -hmm. I'm going to have to do what I've seen everybody else do, and this will be the first time that I've had to do it. Is I don't know what my last words were, but all I know is it's absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Dean. I will have to con connect. My battery actually died. Who knew? I knew it when I saw it flashing. I didn't make it. I was going to talk too long, apparently. I and guess. I have more to say, too. I wanted to tell you that I almost, almost had to go do hair today. My, my, oh gosh, I've got to get the right relation. <laughs> I almost said my mm. sister, but it wasn't my sister. It was my daughter. My daughter, Jessica, called and wanted to know if um, I had a telephone number because she wanted to know if I had an old phone book with telephone numbers, which I do have a lot of old phone books, and I could look up telephone numbers, but I couldn't find it. And I said, is it a house number, or does she have a cell phone? She goes, she didn't know. Because she had to call to cancel an appointment that she had made because she realized her daughter had a, a orthodontic appointment. And it was in Jamestown. And she said she could have me drive her. But I said, does, does, does she know the way there? And she says, no, we're talking to Abigail, you know. Probably not. So um, I said, well, what does the hair do? And she said it was a perm. And the perm would be all set. I w all I would have to do is rinse it with the cold water and take it out and pick it to make it fluffy. And I said, that's it? And I said, well, you know, I'd feel a lot better doing the hair than I would taking her to the, dent to the orthodontist because I would get lost getting there, definitely. 
So she said, okay, so I was supposed to go there at 3 o'clock to do the hair. Well, then she calls me and she says that the lady, she found the number and she had a color that canceled. So she was able to move the perm up an hour earlier so it would be all done before she had to go out today. So that worked out well so I didn't have to do hair. Um, I did take care of the bearded lady. That was the top of my thing. That's what I was supposed to talk about first because it's on the top of my list, but I didn't. But anyways, I took care of the bearded lady today. She, I have a paper towel under her so I can kind of see if she's going potty or not because the paper towel actually will show staining of the fecal material. <laughs> I hope nobody's eating. <laughs> of that now every time but um so I noticed that it was starting to stain so I took it out and she had done you know how they the chickens do this great big huge it looks like a golf ball size poop that they do every morning and hers was there and when I picked her up there it sat so I thought oh good this is a good sign because she did her poops all by herself and it wasn't stuck to her well, I checked to make sure she was clean and she was okay, so I put her down. And then later that day, I noticed the paper towel was looking a little stained, and I thought, hmm, I better check her again. So I did, and sure enough, there's some poop stuck to her. So she had done another business, and so I brought her into the bathroom and washed her feathers off in her butt area and cleaned her off again. And then I laid her back on a paper towel and I've got, and I can tell if she's eating because I clean the water and put it back and it's clean. And when, when I go to look, if there's a little food crumbs in the water, then I know she's been eating and she's been drinking because there wouldn't be any in there. And she's been, she's actually holding her head up and acting a little more lively, but she's still not going on her legs and still not moving around much. But she does make me a little nervous because it will be a week tomorrow that she's been in the house. And I'm hoping that she decides to perk up even more and try to stand up at least or something. I don't know what she's doing, but it's kind of scary because she's really not progressed as fast as I would hope. Maybe I just want her to hurry up and get better <laughs> is the problem. Could be. Could be. Okay, well that is, I think, everything. I don't have any little videos. Oh wait, no, there was one more thing. <laughs> <laughs> Jim is putting the gutter stuff on my chicken run because, well, last night it rained. But it was not a real bad rain. It did get wet a little bit inside, but we really need to put some gutters on there because if it rains like really bad, it could flood it. And I've got some baby chicks in the doghouse sounds bad but they're in the dog house and the dog house is down low so that they can get in and out with the babies because right now they babies are too little to climb back up onto the ladder and go back up in they are they they can jump a little bit but not that far so and they keep them down until they're ready to go up into the little house or to perch when they're big enough to perch then they start perching them on a bar of some sort or on the roof. Uh, or on the roof, yeah. All or on of them roof like of the little house. A lot, in, they in all, our house. <laughs> they all like to sleep on that roof, and you should hear them at night. They're, it's like they're fighting for their spot. I look inside to see how many are inside the house. There might be two inside the house, and the rest of them are all on the roof of the little house that's in the enclosed run. But that's where they like to be. They want to be at the highest point, and that is the highest point right now. And they're all uh -huh. trying to be top top hen or top bird well that is my my video for today and Dean thank you again for this beautiful flag this beautiful beautiful flag it was from dancing critter acres and I will put the links into to his channel link into his channel so you can find it and help support him he has goats and he has other animals too but he does beautiful woodwork as you can see so take well, care who else? What? Oh, simply. I'll put simply. I'll put. I'll put striving for a simple striving. life in Tina. Yeah, I'll put Tina. Tina's in too. But yes. I make sure you mention her. I'm sorry. I <laughs> forgot. But I will. I'll put both of the channels in. I'll put dancing critter acres and sim and striving for the simple life, which is the two channels that I mentioned today. 
So you take care and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.